working hard, then getting ripped off. A South City man becoming the latest target of quick-moving thieves. With this crime, the burglaries are reaching well into the six-figure range. News 4's Ashley Lincoln is live following the South City crime alert tonight. Well, Steve and Courtney, he tells me he believed he was being watched. He says that he was constructing a garage similar to this one when he decided to leave his tools inside before going to a local hardware store. He tells me when he returned, all his tools were gone. This is inevitable. There was nothing I could have done differently to stop this from happening. Dan Fuge is the latest resident to fall victim to burglars canvassing South City neighborhoods. I'm just hoping for my tools to come back. He says brazen criminals broke into his work site near Hampton in Murdoch Friday morning. I walked in there and uh, all my Milwaukee tools have spent my career saving up for was uh, taken. Few says he left them in a garage while running an errand to the hardware store. With his tools gone, I lost between three to five thousand dollars today. This is a big blow to me as a, as a single contractor. Fuge's burglary is one of many on the south side News 4 has reported on. This business, Shagard, was hit last week. Thieves ran off with more than one hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment. And then earlier, News 4 told you about businesses being burglarized in the Lindenwood Park area. It's an unfortunate situation. I know I'm not the only person that this happens to. A lot of these burglaries have happened in Alderman Jova Carl's district. He told us earlier this week he's asked for more police patrols, but says the police department has not been responsive. It's about time that the city needs to address something about it. We're going to start to lose residents. We're going to start to lose contractors and they're going to start to lose faith in everybody. Now, he since made a Facebook post about this theft. So far, that post has been shared nearly a thousand times. Now, police tell us they are investigating these burglaries, but they have not said if any of them are related. Reporting live in South City, Ashley Lincoln, News 4.